Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Hey, I was gonna do a quick video on a bench build. It's a wooden bench, but this is, these are some benches that I've had for, I know, 14 years, and they've been in the weather. I mean, they've been never been inside. They've been through the rain, the sun, the snow, all that time, every single day of those 14 years. It may have been older than that because I actually got them from a house that we were scrapping out, and they were sitting out in the woods, and I grabbed them from there, no telling how long they had been there, but they still looked in pretty good condition then, pretty, still pretty new. So anyway, let's take a look at it. This is one of them. I got two of these. And it looks, I mean, it's a basic bench. There's nothing super fancy about it. But the deal about it is, like I say, I've had these for 14 years and they've been in the weather ever since. Now it is treated wood. So you would expect the wood to still be holding, but these things are still, I still stand on them all the time. You can see they're turning black because I paint stuff on them all the time. You can just see the paint chipping off of them. I paint on them a lot. But these benches have been around, like I say, for I know 14 years. And this is some, uh, these are two and a half by an inch and a quarter. I guess they shape those down or some, something may come in that. I've never seen it. I don't recall it anyway. But what I got here is some, the boards left from the forms on the concrete over there at the shop. And they're a little bit wider, a little bit thicker. These were just probably two by fours, but they've been cut down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is do the bench with that and just do it to the same measurements as what's on here and put it together the same way. I got the other one over here. I'm telling you, these have been some great benches. So I figured I would share how they're built. And this wood ain't treated, so I probably ain't gonna leave it outside unless I put some kind of treatment on it. But anyway, we'll get to cutting this stuff out and I'll give you the measurements as we go and get it put together. Just getting everything cut out here. A lot of these had some nails in it still. I had to get those out. These were the stakes holding the form together. I've got a whole pile of this wood over there, so I'm gonna do a lot of things with it. This is just one of those Harbor Freight uh, miter saws. It's been a pretty good saw. I've got another, a better one, but it's over there at the other house. Most of all of my wood stuff is over there. I actually brought this one back just to do this bench. This is the base for the legs. Just getting it all put together. I clamped it down just to hold it while I get some screws in it right there. And that's just some spacers that I put in between it. This is just a sacrificial board here that I put kind of with the red paint on it, just to hold it in place until I get it in position. If you don't want, if you're doing something besides just a regular workbench like this, you might not want to put those screws in it, but you can hold it with clamps or something until you had it in position. got the bit stuck in the drill trying to use one that wasn't made for it and this is the bottom foot on there I actually got had lines marked on it underneath it that I'm lining it up with
it's getting two screws everywhere I add something on it. And then when I put the top on, it'll have three screws on each one. I should have put the lines on this one. It took me a few minutes to get it lined up on there. I had that glue on the bottom already and it kept making a mess every time I moved it. But that's just a two by six on the top, 38 inches long. These have been really good benches. I mean, they've sat in the rain. The bottom of them been in two, three inches of water for days at a time. Covered in snow. I mean, you couldn't even find them out there. That's pretty much it on it. Let the glue dry, screws are holding it, so it is done at this point. Do one. <clears throat> this top, the seat part, it's just two by six, inch and a half by five and a half. All of these boards were cut roughly two and three quarters. They were cut from concrete form, so they wasn't cut exact, but they're all roughly two and three quarters by an inch and a half. They were probably cut out of two by fours or two by sixes. This bottom runner down here is 16 inches. Your legs are 10 and a half inches. And this little support underneath here is 12 inches. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Get your screws in. I can't say that those were done with wood glue, but I'm, why not? If you got wood glue on hand, you might as well put it on there. And it's only six, eight, ten little pieces of wood. So it don't take a whole lot if you got scraps laying around. It don't have to be that size. I went close as I could with what I had to that other bench without doing a whole lot of work. All I had to do was use a miter saw to cut all this stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, these are 38 inches long. It sets in about three inches, about two and three quarters really. And it's just all straight wood glue and screws. It's a pretty sturdy bitch. It's got a little shake, and that's mostly due to this one on the top. It has a pretty good warp in it. And I don't have a planter here or anything, so I wasn't going to try to get it out. Just put it down. But what I'm using it for, it's not going to matter. So anyway, it's a nice little wood bench. I've seen them t uh, stand the test of time. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and y'all come back for the next one. We'll see you then.